Tell us more about the progress of the tournament has made over the years. I think uh, especially the facility has improved so much over the years. Uh, there is some new stuff built every year. Uh, the, also the progress of getting closer to the players and the history of the tournament is uh, helping us. Uh, now we are more personal. Many players are very happy to come back. We trying, or especially I am trying to be in personal touch with many of the players and uh, trying to do as much as possible for them. And uh, I think this is always a long-term goal because you need to get good contacts uh, with the players, a good relationship, and uh, also get them that personal feeling and touch. And that comes after a couple of years of doing it and trying. So I think the biggest progress of the tournament is kind of getting players to come back and uh, not only to come back the same players but also bringing them extra new players which eventually we are happy that uh, every year it's coming some good star like this year Jürgen Melzer, some ex top 10 players or top 20, many of the top 20, top 30 players and that's positive about tournament that means that the tournament is uh, in a good level and good uh, area that we like to have. How do you enjoy being a tournament director after having such a successful career as a player? It's always a different look. Uh, as a player you come to the supervisor and tournament directors, you always give them hard time, you always push them to have something extra or you always push them to do the things that you like to have as a player. As a tournament director you see suddenly the things from opposite side where uh, you have to basically sometimes do the things that, as a player, you ask uh, to do from the tournament directors, uh, and uh, you're always trying to accommodate players. You always try to feel them good. So it's kind of similar stuff, but from opposite side because now I'm trying to deal with the things that I try I did ask as a player, and also I'm dealing uh, with some other things behind the scenes that I never used to as a player and. Uh, it's from the courts uh, to press and uh, media, so it's just uh, more time off court and more time of making the tournament successful, whereas a player you just coming and play and trying to get the championship, which of eventually makes also nice memories, but uh, you never know if you might come back as a, as a player next year, and that's what I'm trying to do as a tournament director, to if the player makes good tournament or he plays well, try to bring him back again and again and again so we have the good names and we can uh, show the people that we are doing a good job. What do you enjoy most about running the tournament in Trinava? Probably working with the players, uh, working with the uh, media because uh, as a player I always enjoyed to be at the tournament where is interest, where the people comes to watch. And as a tournament director now, I'm promoting the tournament with my name in Slovakia, going around the TVs, around the radios, around the, giving the press conferences or, or articles to the newspapers. And second of all, it's also uh, speaking to players. So that's what I enjoy because many of them I know, many of them they are my friends, many of them I play against. So that's something that uh, it's interesting to see and always kind of getting back to contacts uh, from uh, when you stop uh, playing tennis because at the tournaments I meet these players every day or every week but now I'm meeting them once a year and after a year always ni ni it's nice to have a, some kind of talk how they do, how is their family life, what they do and uh, get some updates what's happening around on the tour. Having reached 15 finals with six titles, what are your memories of competing on the Challenger Tour? I haven't competed so much on the Tour, but best memories are probably from my beginnings. When I was 18, I, at one year I played four finals, I won two Challengers. Basically, I was the newcomer of the year. I won. I, I played so well that year that I come from 300 to 77 in the world in the end of the year. And that was probably the best memory. Even was a short from May to end of October, but I just remembered all the tournaments. And until this day, I still kind of have memory of all these tournaments I went and uh, how I played. And that was also my beginning with Marian Vida as a coach. 
so I learned so much and uh, it's, it was a very nice time and later on I went for challenges and I, I could pick I was so lucky to pick the ones that I wanted to play because I was top 50 player so either I got white card or Maybe I just played the ones for enjoyment to get extra matches or just to I went because of my friends for some of the challenges like Prosteo. So that was also nice memories, but uh, it was different because at the beginning I pushed to be good and, in, and uh, then later on I just came because of something uh, it made me happy to play there. How important is the Challenger Tour in growth of the game and devel development of its players? I think uh, as any of the stage of the tournaments from Futures to ATP, which includes Challengers, it's a good step for every player to learn something uh, at different stage and uh, different stage is dif different, gives you different feelings, different uh, approaches to the matches, uh, different preparations. You have to always get better and better to become a tour player, eventually a master series player where you have to play. So you learn always Minuta, new things. Minute. There are different levels of players every every stage and at challenges levels, when you pass the future levels, you have to improve because these guys are playing a bit faster. They are more experienced. They are more knowledge about the game. They analyze a little bit better than the future players. So it's kind of a step towards the big men's world tennis. And uh, without challengers, uh, you would have no chance to become top 100 player because these guys are just different level and different uh, approach of the game, different preparation, they are very professional, they go to very much details, where at the challenger levels you are still learning this and that is uh, very important why the challenger tournaments are so important in the men's games of tennis. Jürgen Meltzer, former, former world number 8, received the wild card in Treneva. How well do you know each other? With Jürgen, uh, I have a very good relationship. He's not that much younger than me. We played uh, matches against each other. I even Time. went to Vienna to practice with him sometimes. And uh, he's he's very nice boy, very nice person. Uh, we had a lot of fun at the tournaments, uh, at the challengers, uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to see him because uh, he's still from the generation. I'm lucky to say that. In my generation of the players, which there are not many, that he's still playing and uh, it will be very interesting to see him here, how he does. And I hope he can show one of his best days or better days that he had in his career to see some skills of ex-top 10 players.